The topic of this lesson is slope intercept form and we're going to use some data sent to us by a student named Javier who had a couple questions about how to find the slope intercept form for a line that has an x intercept of 2 and a y intercept of 2 fifths. So let's take that data and use it as sort of sample data as we're working through here. Um, first we need slope intercept form for a line um, is y equals mx plus b where x and y are values that we substitute in m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. Now in order to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form you have to have an m and a b that you can fill in. When this equation is actually written out it will say y as a variable equals some number times x plus some other number. So the m and the b need to be values that we fill in so that we have a way to compare x and y together. So as we're answering a question like this, our goal is to identify what m and what b are so that we can write out that equation. Now in this case, we're actually given some of that data right away. We're told that the y-intercept is 2 fifths. So we actually have b to start with. So b, which is the y-intercept, is 2 fifths. Yeah. So the only thing we don't have to be able to write our equation is m, and that's the slope. So we need to find that m value. Now there's a couple ways to do that. We can actually calculate the slope using the two points that we're given. We're given a point where the x-intercept is 2, so that means that there's a point right here on the x-axis. So we have a point at 2, 0, and then we have this other point right here, the y-intercept, which is 2 fifths, so there's a point right about here somewhere. And we could calculate our slope from there, calculating the rise over run, or we could take the data that we have, we have a y, an x value and a y value here, and we have our b here, so we could substitute those three values into this equation and solve for m. So let's do it that way. If we put in the y and the var variable m, because that's what we need to find, and multiply that by the x that we have that goes with that y, plus the b that we're given. Now we have our whole equation and the only variable we have is m. So let's solve for m. We'll move the 2 fifths to the other side so we'll have negative 2 fifths equals m times 2. Divide both sides by 2 and if we're dividing a fraction by 2 that means we can double the denominator. So we'll have negative 2 tenths equals m and that reduces to negative one-fifth. So m then is negative one-fifth or go down one go to the right five or go up one go to the left five which is how these two lines these two points are sort of on the way to going. If I go up one and over five then I actually have a point right here and we can see that that line actually is developing that way just with the two points that we had before. That's on that same line. So there's that slope, that rise 1, run negative 5, or drop 1, go forward 5. Then, once we have our information, we can plug that information into the formula, y equals blank x plus blank, and put the m and the b that we have in that formula, and we get y equals negative 1 fifth x plus 2 fifths. There's the equation of our line in slope-intercept form. Now all we had to do is identify the m and the b, and then we just leave y and x as variables so that we can substitute in new values and figure out how they correlate to each other.